Welcome back. Over the past two years, we have looked at a lot of cool features in UE4. How to build large worlds, adding combat with gameplay abilities, and most recently, hit reactions and knockbacks with gameplay ability root motion tasks. What I want to do over the next few videos is combine some of what we have learned into an actual gameplay event, a single player boss fight. In this video here, we will not be modifying our project at all, so there will be no project to download for this video, and you can see that right here, there's no project to download. This is a planning video to talk about our boss mechanics and what we are going to build. I also want to give you the chance to work on the map for your boss fight prior to our next video. If you would rather use my poorly designed, quickly thrown together map, it will be included in the project for the start of the next video. Let's take a look at our boss mechanics. So the map I've got here is actually our first dungeon. If you remember that video from a while back, I think I always said that I wanted to, wanted to put a boss in it. Anyway, this was kind of just, it was a little entrance with just some rocks here. And so I have expanded out this map and you guys can do the same. So you can open that up. Be sure that when you're uh, playing around with this, you're still going to want to run play as client. And you're going to take this location from this actor that I dropped in. And you're going to want to copy that and set that in your third person game mode as the spawn location. So that you'll be able to spawn it. So let's take a look at our boss abilities. So what I've done is I've grabbed this rampage elemental guy and made him bigger. And... For simplicity, we're going to just have him fixed in the center. He's not going to go running around. He's just going to spin to face the player. Uh, it's going to make a lot of things simpler. Him moving around, you'd have to deal with edges. You'd have to deal with potentially other ways that people could cheat the boss mechanics because he moved. Um, it's just going to be simpler for our first boss here to have him spin in the middle. So his abilities are going to be that he's going to swipe at you if you're in melee range kind of like the NPCs we already have. If you're at uh, range, you know, if you're standing out here, obviously he can't run over and hit you, so he's going to have to throw rocks at you, okay? And they'll probably do about the same. The big thing that's happening here, and the reason the room's designed the way it is, is that he's going to do a knockback that throws everybody off the platform and most likely to their death. And so I don't know yet exactly what we'll do. I'm kind of thinking like maybe fall damage is going to be like 90% of your health. We'll see. We'll play around with that. But the idea is that you want to get thrown off into one of these corner platforms so that you don't take as much falling damage because you're doing it in two jumps. Uh, but that would just be too easy because you would just make sure that you lined up correctly, fight from here, so what we're going to add is we're also going to add a rock fall from ceiling. So I haven't decided yet whether there's going to actually be a ceiling or if that will get in the way of the knockback throwing you up into it or if we just leave it open and rocks appear out of thin air. I don't know, but um, this is going to be the tell for when it's going to happen and where. So you're basically going to be standing here. You're going to see these little rocks start falling, and that's your cue to get out of the way. Of course, that also means that you now might be pointed somewhere that's going to kill you when he throws you back. So that's kind of the, the main mechanic there. Um, of course, there's also <clears throat> the fact that once you get thrown down, you're going to have to get back up. So I made a little bit of a fun jumping platformer game here. Uh, this is a little bit interesting here, but you can play around with that and make that as easy or as difficult as you like. And I figured what I would do to penalize you for taking too long to get back up. Obviously, if you fall from up here, there's the, da the falling damage. Um, but in addition, I was going to put a very slight re health regen on the boss. Not a lot, but just enough that if you take way too long to get back up, uh, you're going to be penalized. So that's the main idea there. Let's take a look. See if I can make it up the first time. We'll be adjusting. I don't want to make any adjustments in this project since it's our planning project, but we'll be we definitely need to turn on the uh, the camera. It's annoying the way it bounces up and down. We definitely need to turn on some camera lag to smooth that out.
And I made it the first time. So this is basically where we'll be fighting. And then this will be what we'll be seeing when we need to move out of the way. So that's going to be our basic boss mechanics. Uh, now let's talk a little bit about our abilities. So we, of course, have have this melee, so we can sit here and, and hit him. That's one thing we've got. We also have our light grenade, which means we can also throw these at him from range. And uh, right now, we never made it, so that was limited. We'll have to set some kind of cooldown on that. We'll play around with what makes sense. We we'll also have to realize that some people might try to cheat the encounter by coming down here, even even further down you could potentially do it, and shooting over top, right? So we're going to have to make sure that even people here get knocked back. Uh, so we'll have to play around with that to see, uh, to see what works best there. Uh, to make sure that you can't cheat it that way. You've got to think about all the different ways that people can do stuff. Our character, of course, also does not have a heal, uh, which is probably going to make this work pretty well because it kind of means that, that it's a ticking time bomb of you know, taking damage from the boss um, at whatever rate. It's going to have to be a pretty slow rate uh, to make sure that you can kill him before you die since you have no way of recovering health. Um, the other potential option is that we add some health regen. We'll have to play around with that and see what makes sense. There's a lot of, a lot of intricacies in getting, getting something to be well balanced and well designed so that people can't just cheat it. So now you have an idea of the boss mechanics. So it's your turn to build your boss map. I'm sure you can come up with something much more impressive than what I threw together here. If you come up with something cool, I would love to see it. So you can share those in the comments or on my Discord. Uh, see the video description for a link to my Discord. Until next time, see ya.